Hello lovely people, what is up? It's Anna Louise and today's video is kind of a short video but I really want to make sure I filmed it. Instead of a beta unboxing, it is a live plant and snail unboxing. Um, and if I can pick it up, here is the box and I have some snails in here. I think about four and some water lettuce. And water lettuce is going to be great for the breeding project that I'm doing. The babies can feed off of it and they really like it. So I have that and I will put some in my sorority. And then the snails are the cutest, you guys. Like, I'm going to insert a picture uh, above right here. They literally look like little cats. Like cats with shells. They are so cute. So I cannot wait to get these open and see how they are. And yeah, so let's begin. Okay, so the water, f um, or the bag felt a little bit wet. The cardboard is kind of mushy. I don't really know where it's coming from. But here are the snails. They're super tiny. In the picture, though, she had them, like, zoomed in. And they look like little cats. Like, they're mega cute. But I guess just, like, the way they are right here, it's hard to tell. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. It's really hard to see in here. But I think I'm going to put some in Klaus's tank by my bed, and then the other ones in the sorority. And then here's my duckweed. Now I'm going to put the duckweed, oh my word, what am I saying? Water lettuce in the sorority, and then some in the breeding tank. Okay, so the girls are really excited. They don't even know what to think about it. I love this. Water lettuce is amazing. It's literally so cool. I'm like so happy I got it and found it. But they love it. Some were trying to eat it. And yeah, but it looks really pretty. Guys, they are literally cracking me up. They don't know what to think. They're so happy. It's like Christmas for them. I think they're really confused as well. But it's so cute. Like, you can tell how much they love it. And the good thing is this stuff grows. So I'll be able to cut it and get more. So obviously it's just starting out with this little hunk, but it'll grow. And look at Blossom. Just exploring. Happy girls. And then I'll show you the breeding tank. I put just a little bit of it in for them. And of course when they get done with it, I will put it back in the sorority. But here this is. And I love it. Like I really wish, you know, you were able to look and see it from a top. Like, in all the tanks. Also, oh my gosh, Penny is making a bubble nest. Dang. That's good. And I swear Sunny over here loves to be by the heater. I just cannot wait to start trying to let them breed. But anyway, I'm so obsessed with this water lettuce, I just want more. It's literally, I've never been able to find it in stores. So I'm really thankful I came across it. Hey guys, so what's up? It's the next day and I really, really, really love my water lettuce. It's so beautiful and my girls love it so much. They're always wallowing around in it and yeah, it's really good and I love my snails too. The only thing is two of them are now killed thanks to my sorority girls and even my baby fish and Klaus have tried to pick at the snails. It's weird because none of my other fish have picked at my other snails that I have except for these. And I don't know if it's because they're too small or what. Honestly, I think so. I just really hope I can keep them alive because they're so cool. So I'm just hoping for that. But today I got another rescue and it is our first female rescue. And I always say our and we and that's only because I've mentioned it before. Me and my friend do the breeding and rescuing together. But I keep most at my house so I have them right now. And I we got our first girl. And normally... Well, the only reason why we really even haven't had girls before is because it seems like the boy ones, at least where we live and where we go to shop, are in need more than the girls are. So, actually, today, I have been having my eye on a female for a while, and she has been at the store for a very long time, like, on the shelf. And you could tell that she was not in the best health, health because her fins were not clamped, like, as in where they're like clamped clamped and she's sick but they were clamped down and 
she just looked really sad and she's been there for a really long time through countless number of shipments because I have been keeping eye so we finally got her today and we named her Minnow and we named her Minnow and I really really like that name it's cute and it fits her because of her coloring and that's probably why a lot of people didn't get her which I don't know because everyone has their own opinion on betas but she's not brightly colored except for she does have some beautiful dragon scales and that is what makes her so unique some like really pretty turquoise blue so I'm going to show you her and actually me and my friend just shipped out a beta today dandy my beautiful orange creamsicle melt male tail veil tail and I've been sitting out here getting minnows tank ready or quarantine tank so I'm going to show you right now so here it is it's this one that dandy was in I've cleaned it up cleaned the rocks add some black have this little beta hammock and this cichlid rock because they're super cute and I think it's really cute and adorable for a quarantine tank so I'm gonna get her in there get her some stress coat a little bit of aquarium salt just in case and see how she's doing she did have some stress stripes so I'm hoping to rid her of those okay guys so here's minnow and as you can see she has her little stress stripes which I'm really hoping I can cure her in just a second. She is a half moon female. She's going to go right here by Da Vinci and Uni's right here. So here she is. And on her back fins, she actually has some metallic, but you can't really see unless it's certain lighting. But I'm going to go ahead and get the water in here, salt, and dress coat. Okay, so now that all of that is in, we are going to let her acclimate before putting her in. Uh-oh. <laughs> I may have to take some water out. Okay, guys, so I have her in her quarantine bowl now, and I'm going to go ahead and show you. So here she is, and she is hiding by the cichlid rock. Of course she is. Seems like all the time I try to show you guys my new rescues and stuff. Well, and my fish in general, they decide to hide. But there she is, and I will go ahead and insert a better picture of her right now. And yeah, she kind of spazzed right when I got her in her home. But she's doing really good. And just checking it out, here she comes. As you can see, her really pretty blue scales. Let me see if I can shine a light. Yeah, right here. Say, so here I am. So, this is Minnow. And yeah, she was on the shelf, like I say, for a really long time. Oh gosh, the lighting, I'm sorry. Okay, this is probably better. She was on the shelf for a really long time, so I'm really happy to get her home and recuperate her for a while and then find her a forever home. Also, my friend gave me this food to try out. It is Marineland. Color Enhancing Tropical Flakes, Expert Food for Superior Growth and Water Clarity. Let's see the ingredients. Dried anchovy, condensed fish, protein digest, source from cod, haddock, halibut, herring, pollock, mackerel, redfish, shrimp, and yeah, a lot of really good stuff. So I'm excited to try it, and these flakes are actually really cool. As you can see from the picture, they're kind of small which is really cool from like the normal flakes I see so I'm excited to try that and yeah that's pretty much all you guys so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe which you can do by hitting my face right here and you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right here and also make sure to add me on snapchat so you can see fish updates and just me updates and here is my name right here it's Anna Louise 20 so add me and yeah I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video